Welcome back. If you are just waking up with us, there has been much unrest overnight. A Milwaukee police officer shot and killed an armed suspect yesterday afternoon, which spurred demonstrations. Patrol cars were damaged, businesses set on fire. That includes a gas station that has actually been in the headlines before. And that's where we find our Bridget Shanahan with a closer look at why this BP may have been targeted. Bridget. Well, Steve and Julia, this is still a very active crime scene, even at this hour after this all unfolded overnight here. I want to give you a closer look at this gas station. We moved and we have a closer vantage point this morning. Take a look at the building. It is destroyed. The whole front end of that place is just black and burned out. But what you'll notice is those gas pumps, they weren't touched, which is very fortunate because of the large crowds that were gathered here. Obviously, that could have been a very volatile situation. But as Steve and Julia mentioned, this is not the first time something like this has happened here. I want to take you back to the beginning of June. We've got some cell phone video to show you from back then of when things turned violent here at the corner of Sherman and Burley, right at this BP gas station before. Milwaukee police saying a large crowd of teenagers threw rocks first at officers and then broke a window at this gas station and busting out a squad car window as well. Then about a month later, a man was shot and killed here. Earlier that week, there was another protest at the same gas station. The clerk inside fired a gun in the air after he said he felt threatened by a group of kids outside. I want to give you a closer look at officers this morning. We are noticing that some of them are leaving the area and going home. There are others that are on that county transit bus there resting up a little bit. A lot of these guys have been working and women also have been working 12, 13, 14 hour shifts since they began yesterday. And again, this whole area is blocked off. We're actually inside the crime scene tape this morning, but a couple of blocks in either direction from this intersection here, which is, of course, Sherman and Burleigh something to keep in mind this morning. Officers are telling me it's going to be a while before they leave here. Stephen